Creating a story Bible is one of those things that is now a lot easier thanks to AI. And there are a couple of different ways that you can do it. So stick around to see how I would use AI to create a story Bible and what tool I would use to capture that information. Let's get into it. All right, everybody. So today we're going to be using a couple of different tools and we're going to be having a look at ChatGPT. We're going to look at Claude through Poe. I'll also briefly touch on Open Playground here and using Claude there. Uh, we're also going to be looking at this tool called Campfire, which is a world building tool essentially for creating your own wiki for your novel. There are a couple of tools that do this. The most notable ones are Campfire and World Anvil. I personally feel that World Anvil is better for hobbyists and for dungeon masters. If you're a game master, you do that sort of thing. Um, whereas Campfire is really more geared for writers. There's a link in the description. And so this is the tool that we're going to be using today to create our series Bible. This is one of my most asked questions is how to create a series Bible with AI. And there are a couple of ways that you can do it. First of all, or first of all, if we are creating the characters, the different world building elements as we go in the pre-writing process. So let's say, give me... 20 possible character protagonists for a science fiction beach romance. I don't know if that's a real genre. I might have just made it up. And then we get a bunch of characters, right? So let's say we really like this first one, Iris Starling, a brilliant marine biologist who's discovered signs of extraterrestrial life within Earth's oceans. And we really like this idea. And so we say, take, or you'd say, I like number one. Please expand on that character and include physical description at attributes, um, personality, etc. And then we give that to ChatGPT and it gives us a more detailed character description. Okay, I'm, this is really super brief that I'm going through this. Uh, but this gives you an idea of what you might be doing in the pre-writing process. You're creating these characters and it's not just characters, right? You're doing world building, you're creating a timeline, other things like that. And so once you've done that, you can take this information here and you can take it into a tool like Campfire and plug everything in and there you go. The problem that I feel like many authors have, especially now, is you have a lot of books already and you want to take the information that is in those books and then create a wiki from that. This method that I just outlined using ChatGPT works great if you are currently writing the book and you wanna document your process along the way, that's fine. But what do we do if we already have the book written and we want to extract the information from that? There is a way that you can do that. And uh, the, the way we're gonna do it is here in Poe. Uh, you can go to poe.com, P-O-E. And we're gonna be using this model called Claude Instant 100K. 100K means 100,000 tokens of memory, essentially. Uh, which means that it can remember up to, uh, it claims up to 75,000 words. From my experience and others, um, it tends to be a little bit more like 65,000 words, but still, that's a lot of context that it can give you. The reason I'm using Poe for this is because this gives us 100, if you're subscribed to Poe, which is $20 a month, it will give you 100 uh, chats per month with this specific model. There is another way you can do it, and that is to go to Open Playground uh, and to come over here to chat, and then come over here to the different model, and you select the Anthropic Claude Instant V1 100K. You could also select um, 
Okay, so that's the instant. That one will actually be a little bit cheaper, I believe, and it's a little faster. You could also take the Claude version one 100K, which will be a little bit better in terms of quality, but probably a little more expensive. And then you can go through this entire process the same way uh, as what I'm gonna show you in Poe. The only thing here is that it's gonna cost you. And with these really long context models, it's costing you not just for the information that it is giving you for the output, but it also costs for the input. It's not as expensive as the output, but the input also costs money, which means if you're putting 50,000 words into there, it that's going to cost you probably at least uh, 50 cents, I'd say, per chat, which is going to add up considerably quickly. And that's why, since I happen to have a subscription to Poe, I'm using Poe. Uh, because I get 100 chats of no extra charge there. Uh, but if you don't have Poe, then um, Open Playground might be an option for you. Again, you can find this at nat.dev, nat.dev, and uh, you can find it here at poe.com. Both are viable options. It kind of just depends on how much of this you plan on doing. If you're planning on doing a lot and totally maxing out that 100 chats that you get from Claude, then you, I would come here and do it in Poe. If you're only planning on doing a few of these and it'll only cost you a couple of couple of bucks, but less than the 20 bucks that it costs for Poe, then I would maybe do it in Open Playground. But we're gonna do it in Poe today. And before we come here, I'm just gonna come on over to Atticus. And within Atticus, we're gonna be looking at this, um, the Omnimancer, which I'm currently in the middle of. I've got about 12 chapters here, it's just, which means it's about halfway finished. And more on that in future videos. Uh, but I'm just going to take what I have here and ask Claude a couple of questions about one of the characters. And so the one way we can do this is we're going to want to put this into a doc file. So I'm just going to come here and export a docs file. All right, so I have the doc now with the text I have so far and uh, Word is telling me that it's about 31,000 words. We are just gonna control all to select all of it and then copy. Then we're gonna come over here to, whoop, not that, po.com and paste the whole thing. Okay, so which is a lot, all right? And then I'm just gonna copy and paste this prompt here underneath it. Given the text above, which we just pasted 30,000 words in there, describe the character of Lyra using the following format. Write a summary paragraph of Lyra's experience, approximately 500 characters, then a section for each of the following with at least 10 bullet points for each. Attributes, physical traits, personality traits, and statistics. And I'll show you why I specifically asked for those in a second. Uh, but it'll look through everything that we've just pasted in there, all 30,000 words, and I'll be able to confirm just from the output that it did receive that entire thing because of what it's telling me. And so let's go ahead and hit enter. Give it a moment to think because it has a lot to analyze. All right, gave me the summary paragraph I asked for, gave me some attributes, gave me some physical traits personality traits. It kind of got lost when I said statistics. So I'm going to say try again with the statistics. Now n notice you got to be careful with just asking it follow-up questions because we only get a hundred of these with poe.com. Um, but yep. Yeah, okay, so it's just still having trouble with that. Uh, that's okay, we'll just skip that one for now. So we've got these attributes here, and what do we do with these? Um, this is cool because it clearly has read the entire thing. Uh, it says she's a student at the prestigious Bright Soul Academy where she excels in necromancy. Her life takes a turn when she discovers she has rare abilities beyond necromancy, including soul forging and healing magic. That's all stuff that she encounters within the story. This marks her as an Omnimancer capable of all five death magics. Though her 
New powers allow her to raise Elric, an undead warrior with traces of free will. They soon attract unwanted attention from the Council of Necromancers who seek to control her. She joins the Revenant Rebellion and begins training to rescue Elric from the clutches of the Council. So that is spot on. That is exactly what happens throughout the entire course of the first half of this book, which is all that I stuck in there. So it has clearly read the whole thing and understands what went on with the character of Lyra. So I could continue with this and say, uh, give me a similar character profile with the same format for Elric, which is the other main character of the book. And here we go. We've got a summary about Elric, attributes for him in the same format, physical traits, er uh, personality traits, everything. Um, that goes for Elric. Also, just looking through these things like poetic. These aren't just things that it generated. It knows from having read the text that he is poetic, that he's a lover of music um, and writes poetry and things like that. Uh, that's something that it would have only been able to pick up if it had read the text. So this is actually really, really cool. The only downside to this entire process is that it's kind of limited and it, because of because it's expensive to be able to read the whole book and then answer questions about it. But it can do it, which is pretty incredible. So let's say we wanted to take this first text here uh, from about Lyra and actually put it into a story Bible. So the way we're going to do that is go to Campfire. And we have here just a, uh, the, we're on the dashboard here. Campfire is pretty cool because you can, if you look here on the left, you can, basically create anything you want related to your book um you know the obvious one is characters here but you can also put in part of your manuscript you can look at locations maps you can upload pictures of your maps and then identify specific areas um and tie those into the locations tabs and everything just your general research you can create a timeline you can create a calendar uh, character arcs, relationships. Uh, this is a general encyclopedia for basically anything that doesn't fit on this list. You can do magic, species, cultures, items, systems, languages, religions, philosophies, basically anything you want. And the cool thing about Campfire is that it is modular. I happen to have all of the modules for Campfire because I, I bought them all. I think they're great. Um, but you can actually say you're not really interested in maps because that might be more of a fantasy book thing and you write romance. So if you write romance, then maybe you're only interested in characters and locations, maybe the timeline, maybe the character arc, maybe relationships, but then that's it, right? You can actually buy the lifetime price for any one of these, or you can do it as a subscription, but they have a lifetime option, which is really affordable and honestly what I would get if I were doing this again, it is what I got actually. Um, and so let's just say you want a character as well. You buy the character arc and you get the lifetime bill and then you'll have access to characters. And then you can buy the relationships arc and get access to that. And then you won't have access to anything else. And so you can kind of just pick them up one by one if you wanted to do it that way, or you can just pick the ones you need or you can get all of them. Uh, but I think it's a really cool thing. And every single one of these is different. Uh, if you create a new character, the format that you see here is going to be different from species or timeline or location. But for the purposes of this demo, we're going to just create a character here. So we got new character. We're just going to call this Lyra. Uh, we could add a brief description here. And that I'm just going to copy and paste everything we got into there for now. Um, so we can sort it later. So we had that initial summary and then it gave us attributes. It gave us a few other things here. So this initial summary, we can just leave here in this space, uh, where we can get the general overview of the character. But then this is why in my prompt, I asked it to have attributes and physical traits and personality traits and statistics. Uh, so we can go ahead and copy just this little bit. Now oh, it looks like it had a character limit. So actually I'm gonna go back to Poe and just copy these attributes. Now go back to campfire. 
hit manage attributes and then you can just input them here um, so you can't copy and paste them all exactly but you can um, just create your own and then put them in here this way you can put the physical traits here um, so we would add a list item here this is a little bit more intuitive um, say robes Lyra has robes and then just pop that in there we could add another new list item and keep keep going from there just adding all these physical traits uh, we can put personality traits, we can put statistics, we can even put an image and if you have a subscription to Midjourney or something like that, I would highly recommend putting an image in here. AI has suddenly made it, made it so much easier to flesh out these kind of world bibles in a way that we couldn't do before because it would just take too much time to do so. I know I've been wanting to do a, a world bible for forever, but it it takes almost as much time to do that as it does to write the book in the first place. And so that's something that just hasn't been on my reader, but using AI to read my book and then give me things to talk about is a really great way to do this. And so I encourage you to play around with it. Use Poe or use Open Playground because you can do the same thing in Open Playground. It's just going to cost you per chat and then play around with that. And then I also encourage you to look up Campfire um, if you are just writing during the writing process in ChatGPT, it might be a good idea to actually use this to construct your characters in the first place so that you can populate all this information. Then you have a database of that information that you can use later when you are writing with Pseudowrite or what have you. So I hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.